Hi everyone, it's Adrian Leah. This is a quick update video on decks that I've been using and deck bags that I've knitted. So, I'm currently working on one deck bag. This is almost done. I'm doing the tassels for it right now to wrap around the deck bag and this is for the Claire de Lune Lenormand. I do really love this deck. I have a a couple of Lenormand decks and I do take a while to choose the ones that speak to me. It's nice having a small collection of them, as I said in another video, because I like to designate them at different times and for certain purposes. So this is another bag that I used the Magic Loop for, and I did some tabling. I just did my own pattern with this one. I love the color. I love using cotton for table knitting because it does make an effective table. It is, it feels tighter when you're doing the, the table knitting, but I feel like it it's worth it. Today I use the Pro Tarot for a client reading. This is one of the decks that I use for the messages from the pro and this deck is one that I really have a, a clear message from the crows. I feel like it's very talkative and it's not artwork that I would normally go for but it's effective. And with that, it paired up wonderfully with the Celtic Shamans deck. And that comes in the Celtic Shamans pack. I really love the energy of this deck. And I don't really use the book. I know John Matthews was also associated with the Wildwood Tarot and then the artist was with the Greenwood Tarot. With John Matthews text, I'm, I'm not I don't completely connect to the writing, so I mainly use it for basic terminology for maybe the archetypes on the cards to give it more context. But I love that this deck can read on its own. There's a, a deck that I worked with for a long time that I recently posted as a reading that I do, which is the Sacred Path cards with the medicine cards. And the Sacred Path cards is an amazing deck that was introduced to me by Mary Bell. And I took a lot of time to dedicate my energy and learning about the traditions and about the deck. So I really love 
this one. Sorry, I'm going, I'm jumping from different topics, but this reminds me of a combination of the Fairy Wicca and the Druid Animal Oracle. I don't really see herbs in here, but uh, again, I'm not a Wiccan, but it's the main deck that I really associate with the Morgan because of the amount of archetypes and how it speaks to me. And that deck was the first deck that I pulled from being in this new place, and uh, there is some amazing story that I have that I might share in another video. But with this deck, I a lot of times I sleep with decks in, in the bed because I don't, I, I like having stuff that I love around me. And I had a beautiful, blessed, happiest dream with this deck next to me, so it's definitely energetically special. And I ended on this, which is the the card that I pulled today. So another deck bag that I finished using the same yarn. Well, I finished two of these. This one was more of the practice one and the placements for the buttons. And this, I, this one has the Theater Dolls Tarot. This is a deck that lives in my bag and I trimmed it. There is text at the top where this is Cyrillic writing. It's a Russian deck. And it's just phenomenal. I love the analytical approach to it. And then the other deck that I have is also a Russian deck. It, it has one of the decks because it comes in a duo, which is the Lilac, Lilac and Cherry Twilight Lenormand. And this one is the Lilac one. And they mirror each other. They have different cards. So I love seeing it. But I love the size of these. I do love the smaller Lenormand decks too because it's helpful having that size for larger spreads. But this is the imagery is special because I of the area and how I connect to it and I, I enjoy looking at it. So I also just wanted to show the mini sewing pack that I got. Very patriotic. And the outside is plain, which is fine because it's easier to match with and it's not too intrusive. So I love that you can put the larger thread in here too. And the scissors are actually good quality scissors. So this is definitely helpful. So a surprise that well, a deck that surprised me is the Magical Nordic Tarot. I got it because it really spoke to me, and that's one of the lessons that I really learned from getting decks, and then decks that I wanted to experiment with. Sometimes it goes well, and then other times I let go of them. I really enjoy working with the Magical Nordic Tarot. As you can see, this is a pip deck. It just feels really shamanic, and I just want to say that the backs and some of the cards, like the pool and the star, they remind me of fluorite, aside from the northern lights or ouroboros. And 
I just love how shamanic it is. And I feel like it's a 180 from a deck that I love the imagery of, but I didn't connect to in that way. But I, it was a good reader was the Norse Tarot, which was lost along the way of moving. But this one is just very amazing in terms of how it it shows me the type of shamanism from Nordic traditions that may be something that's uh, an extreme point but I really I really feel the energy of that in here and I don't mind the keywords at the bottom of the pip cards. In fact, I think that they did well with the choices of words in it, which I really appreciate. Just a beautiful deck and I love being from the North and I have a, a clear, I have clear readings from this. So I might do a review because I could say a lot about this deck, but it's just amazing. And it was a big surprise to me. And I love having decks that I really connect to when I have a very limited collection of pip decks. In fact, I have the one that I work with, which is this one. So the, the box really sells it too. It looks magical. Sorry about the lighting. Again, I use my deck, which I'm working on getting some out. They'll be really small batches, but I accept the progress regardless. I also use the Goddess Dream Oracle. My card of the day today was Patience Through the Darkness to the Light. And it's just perfect because I'm going through a long karmic cycle right now. And it seems very long and tedious, but it needs to be done. I'm sorry I sped up on this. Maybe it's how I'm feeling. And it's some of the friction. So, always love this deck. And I wanted to show two yarn that I got on sale. I love the, the purple tinge, brown, purple brown tinge of this Heather yarn. And then a purple one that I've been called to get for two of my decks. So another thing that I'm gonna show in this video is The Magical Mermaids and Water Creatures by DJ Conway. And I am selective about writing and I love the way that this is written. It reminds me of a a sea version or a water version of the field guides to the fairies that I have, which really focuses on the land fae, land fae. So I'm really excited. I'm sorry, I keep saying really. I'm excited to get more into this book. And that was my short update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that I'm I'm not online as much. I'm still debating on uh, getting stuff that's happening in 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 life. So uh, I might update you in another video. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video.